My name is Denise. I am a program coordinator at the University of Manitoba. I am a first generation graduate of the university and a proud Métis woman from Winnipeg. One of the programs that I manage at the University of Manitoba is the Empowering You Financial Wellness Program, Your Finances, Your Future. It's new to the Indigenous Student Centre as of September 2018. So the Empowering You Program um, came to fruition out of the realization of the potential impact targeted programming relating to financial literacy for Indigenous students could have on the students at the University of Manitoba. The objectives of the program are to provide or empower Indigenous students with the tools and resources necessary for them to make informed, knowledgeable financial decisions with their money throughout their university journey as well as beyond. Um, another objective is that we deliver uh, culturally appropriate programming for the Indigenous students, which allows them to reflect on their past, present, and future relationship with money, which then would alleviate uh, some of the financial stress that they may be feeling uh, within their life. And ultimately, the goal of the Empowering You program is to um, increase the persistence and retention rate of Indigenous students as financial um, hardships or stress is often uh, one of the reasons that students drop out of university because they don't have the knowledge or resources to um, say apply for student loans or understand the difference between a scholarship and a bursary and just provide them with those tools. The program is a uh, workshop and session based where we bring in um, community partners or faculty faculties and units on campus that are um, that support Indigenous student success. So some of our partners include um, obviously elders within the center. Uh, we work with Seed Winnipeg that has a uh, dedicated program, Money Matters, that um, is grounded in Indigenous uh, knowledge for Indigenous students. Um, some of our programs, uh, well, all of our programming uh, incorporates um, Indigenous teachings and we use Indigenous materials wherever relevant. Uh, one of the materials that we use uh, that we give all the students that participate in the program is the Money Matters uh, booklet that was created by Prosper Canada in partnership with AF. OA. Uh, this booklet uh, uses the land as uh, teachings and animals to uh, convey uh, messages about money management to, to students. Some of the sessions that we have offered in the fall were a budgeting uh, and savings workshop where students um, were uh, delivered a presentation about um, you know, ways that they can save their money and increase their income uh, while in university. We also had um, an Indigenous uh, financial aid and awards officer come into the center, speak to the students about the differences between student loans, scholarships, bursaries, some of the funding options. And then the students were able to um, move to the computer lab and apply on site with the assistance of the uh, awards officer for the University of Manitoba general bursary. So that was uh, quite popular with the students because they felt supported and they had answers to their questions immediately while they were, were applying. Um, in November, which is Financial Literacy Month, uh, we had an Indigenous uh, dietitian come into the center who did a workshop on um, eating healthy on a budget. So her workshop focused on, it was very holistic and it focused on traditional, cultural and spiritual aspects of preparing a meal. Uh, the meal was, uh, all the ingredients were shopped for um, separately uh, and receipts were shown to the students so they could see how much each recipe actually cost to purchase. Uh, students at the end of the session were provided with a folder that had the indigenous recipes as well as information on where to purchase traditional foods within Winnipeg, um, as well as um, 
uh, ancestral beverages, a booklet on how to make those, and uh, a resource on harvesting as well. So moving into 2019, uh, we've already had um, an Escaping Your Debt uh, $1 at a time session. And um, heading into tax season, we will be having a tax tips for students session and uh, offering for the first time a um, tax uh, clinic where students can sign up in advance and come in and have their taxes prepared in the center by uh, trained volunteers that work with uh, community financial services in Winnipeg. So we're quite excited about uh, the programming in year one and really looking forward to how we move forward uh, to year, year two. Measuring the success of the program, I think, is uh, very individualistic because success is defined differently for every student. As a program coordinator, um, one of the biggest measurements of success that uh, I see in the program is having a student take the knowledge that they've learned in some of the sessions and workshops and then apply it outside to their everyday life. So a measurement of success in regards to that would be, you know, chatting with a student who has now told me that, you know what, I don't go to Tim's every day, I don't go twice a day, I now make my coffee at home and I've saved, you know, 15 to $20 a week. So their income has been increased. Um, another example, uh, student related would be a student who has never filed taxes before, who comes to the tax clinic, files the taxes, and then receives uh, child tax benefits or um, uh, you know, gets a rent, renter's credit or something from filing their taxes. So that also has created knowledge that there are tax credits and things available to them that will increase their income and then alleviate some of the the financial pressures that that they may see they may see in their in their life. But um, ultimately, I think one of the measurements of success as well is. Um, um, seen an increase in uh, post-secondary persistence, which I mentioned before, having students stay in school beyond first term so they have the finances and the knowledge to be able to afford their tuition for second term, to afford their rent, so that they can uh, concentrate on their academics and not worry so much about the financial side of things. I mentioned uh, that the Empowering You program uses the Managing Your Money booklet. Uh, if you're interested in and purchasing booklets, you can go to the Prosper Canada website. There's a link that will take you here. You can order copies of it, and they also offer downloadable worksheets as well. From my perspective, I think Indigenous education is um, holistic and rooted in Indigenous values and culture. Um, I would say that it honors uh, Indigenous history and incorporates uh, culturally relevant learning opportunities for Indigenous students into their classrooms and programming and provides them a safe and welcoming space to obtain their education. I think it's also an important part of reconciliation as it provides non-Indigenous people the ability to learn from some of the curriculum and the teachings that are taking place in the classroom. The Empowering You program is fortunate to have donor support and without the generosity of the donor and having the donor recognize the need for Indigenous specific programming, we wouldn't be able to provide the tools and the resources and supports that we do in regards to financial literacy to the students. So in the next 10 years, um, I would hope that um, more donors would come forward and uh, uh, provide funding for programming specific to financial literacy. Um, I believe in the end result of uh, having funding directed to this would be uh, the increased uh, knowledge around uh, one's own financial wellness and it would support their overall well-being for Indigenous students uh, culturally, culturally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Um, I envision that uh, in the next 10 years, as a result of this funding, uh, we would 
see a rise in post-secondary enrollment of Indigenous students, as well as their persistence, and then in the end, uh, increased graduation rates.